Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about how to use refraction ray depth in Maya 2017 using Arnold. It's really helpful when you have multiple transparent or glass material in your scene. Stay tuned. Okay, today we will see about how to use refraction ray depth in Maya 2017 using Arnold. So it's really helpful when you have glass object in your scene. Okay, here I have simple scene setup. I have three poly cubes. So I will bevel this corner. So and I have simple pot using CV curve tool. I will model this. So now I open my Arnold render view. So here you need to apply some light to see our objects in our Arnold render view. So I will apply sky dome light, go to Arnold and choose light and choose sky dome light. So now you able to see our objects in our render. So in our sky, in our sky dome, I will apply HDRI map. So for our reflections. So if you have HDRI map, apply that one or you need to download, I will provide the link below in this description box. So copy this link and paste over in your browser and download this one. So it's really important for this project. So in the sky dome created, so I will select the sky dome and click on this color checker and go to file and filter type to off and click on this image name folder so choose our HDRI map so select the sky dome again here we have one attributes called resolution so it's really important because you need to provide the perfect resolution for this option so in my HDRI map width is 3000 pixels so I will give 3000 over here so now I zoom in a little bit so now we need to apply some materials so I will select the spot right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard so I will move this one on the side so I will choose my diffuse color to whatever you want so I will choose red color so and also I will give some reflection specular weight to 0 0.5 and give roughness to 0 0.1 so like this so now you able to see our glossy reflection over here so now this three materials three objects are on glass material so i will select this three things and right click and choose assign new material and choose arnold ai standard here this is some glass material so I didn't want any diffuse contribution so I will drag the slider all the way to black so I didn't want any diffuse weight so I will give zero so I need specular weight at least 0 0.05 so it's enough so now I give roughness to 0 0.05 so like this so now, so this is a glass material. So that means you need to click on this one and go to refraction. So expand the refraction option. So if you have any glass material in your scene, you definitely want to give refraction weight to one. And then you need to give index of refraction for our glass material is 1.5. So like this okay so here we facing lot of problems so the first problem is the glass material is cast in shadow so if you have any transparent object it will won't cast this much of shadow over here so second problem is here you able to see the black so here also so first we fix this sh shadow problems so I will select this so I will keep this image for comparison so I will click on the snapshot 
so that means it will take our snapshot so now I select this object and go to poly cube shape one option so here you need to expand this Arnold tab and uncheck this opaque so that means it will won't cast shadows so I will uncheck this one so you need to uncheck on all other objects so I will select this glass material and turn on this opaque and select this glass material and turn off this opaque okay so now this polycube won't cast shadows because we turn off this opaque of each and every objects so I will click on the snapshot to compare so I will click on this snapshot one so now you able to see the shadow so in snapshot 2 it will won't cast any shadows so now we need to fix this black region problem so it will be happened by render settings go to render settings expand the ray depth in Arnold render here you need to find refraction so it will shows the refraction limit to 2 so that means so I will move on this one so here we have uh, each and every cube we have two layers so front face and back face so that means it has two refraction so but here we have another two so that means four so another two that means six so and seventh time it will show our object so I will angle on this way so now I keep this refraction value as default as 2 so now I take render so I will uncheck this I option to render our region okay now you able to unable to see the back object so I didn't able to see our uh, back part so because of this refraction ray depth so it will set the limit as 2 so but here we have 3 cubes so that means each one have two thickness so that means six and seventh time I will able to see my object so that means you want to give refraction at least seven so I will give seven okay so now you able to see our pot because we increase our refraction ray depth so this is the way to use refraction ray depth when you have multiple glass material in your scene so i hope you like it i see you on next project click subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we always need your support to create high quality content further so please subscribe click here to also watch the tutorial of how to render the throw directly in output without any mesh using Arnold in Maya 2017.